right. Welcome back to the PG. A couple weeks ago, I had one of the best Italian meals I can ever remember. And it wasn't in the North End or on Federal Hill. It was at a little neighborhood restaurant in Kendall Square, Cambridge, called Amelia's Trattoria. <laughs> This is the best Italian restaurant you've never heard of. For more than a decade, Amelia's Trattoria in Kendall Square, Cambridge has flown under the radar, just the way the locals like it. It's a neighborhood Italian gem that nobody knows about. You can't beat it. But with rustic Italian food this amazing, Amelia's couldn't be kept secret forever. And these days, the bright and comfortable dining room is packed, and everyone is hungry for what chef owner Delio Susi is cooking in the open kitchen. It's traditional Italian, but it also has a sort of new flair to it. Every menu item that's traditional is sort of tweaked a little bit and Delio adds his own special twist to it. Delio runs the restaurant with his wife Rebecca and just about everything they serve is made from scratch. First and foremost, the pastas. We make anything from fettuccine, gnocchi, spaghetti, ravioli. And those fresh pastas make dishes like the braised short rib bolognese, spaghetti with plum tomato ragu, and gnocchi with squash and brown butter, absolutely irresistible. Everybody who comes and has them once, they come back and have them again, for sure. Amelia's menu showcases many family recipes, like meatballs served in a mini crock pot and topped with melted fontina. We call it the trifecta here at Amelia's. It's uh, beef, veal, and pork. Meatballs, it's an old recipe from my mom, there to die for. And now the secret's out about Amelia's Trattoria. And to help us learn a little bit more about Amelia's Trattoria, we're joined now by Rebecca Susi. Now, Rebecca, so much awesome food, and I mean it. Everything's handmade, great, great food at Amelia's. And at a lot of Italian restaurants, you know, garlic bread is like an afterthought. It's just kind of something that comes on the side. It's not all that special. At Amelia's, even the garlic bread is awesome. So explain how it's made, what it tastes like, what the story is. Yes, it is, actually. We take a lot of pride. We make our own bread in the restaurant every morning, baked fresh. We start with nice rosemary focaccia. We add some nice extra virgin olive oil, slow roasted garlic, top it with Parmesan cheese, and we finish in the oven. It's crispy, it's soft in the center. It's it's delicious. It's everything you want in a garlic bread. Yeah, really, I mean, it has that smell. I know people mm -hmm. can't get it on TV, but I really wish HDTV also translated the smell. <laughs> it smells good, it has that beautiful look. It's crusty, and the inside it's kind of a little bit soft. Definitely incredibly delicious. Now, certainly people go out for Italian restaurants. They're extremely familiar with getting pasta. Everyone does pasta, and you guys do great pastas. A lot of people may not know about polenta, and mm. it's another awesome Italian starch, and you guys do it better than just about anyone I've seen in New England. So first of all, what is polenta and explain how you guys do it? Sure, it's a great alternative to pasta if you want something different. It's a cornmeal, it's very old. They used to call it the peasant food, it's traditional. Yep. But we have something we call everyday slow polenta. We cook it fresh to order. We add a little bit of cream, Parmesan cheese, so it's really creamy. We pour it out hot onto a nice wood board. And then you have all different toppings you can choose from. It's a really popular. In fact, we have a whole month that we designate to polenta. And it has all different toppings. And it's delicious. It's communal. People can sit down and get a board right in the center of the table. And they can share it. And they each have a bite. And it's really fun. It, it is it's, great. It's and it has that creaminess. It has that kind of sweetness. It really is a good way to do it. But of course, if people want to go out and get pasta, you have plenty of options. And speaking of something that's good and, and sort of communal and shareable for the table, because about the richest pasta you can get is the bolognese at Amelia's. I mean, this is pretty off the hook, this thing. So what goes into that? Because I'm sure a lot does. Yeah, you have to bring your appetite if you're going to have the bolognese. <laughs> it's very filling, but it's delicious. It's really rich. It's really hearty, slow roasted. And it's not a traditional bolognese. We do a short rib bolognese. So, so the short ribs for the meat. Interesting. Short rib, and yeah. it's delicious. It just adds to that richiness. And then we have fresh fusilli that just puts it over the top. And we have shaved Parmesan cheese on top, warm, meaty, fills you up. Now, of course, you, you mentioned words like over the top, filling, <laughs> all these things. You could definitely use all those adjectives and more to describe your carbonara. Now, when we came into Amelia's a couple years ago to do a story, it was like a secret thing on the menu. You had to like really know, your husband, Dalio's back in the kitchen, you had to request it. But now, so many people have come in, you, you can, anyone can get the carbonara, yeah, right? it's definitely popular, definitely. And why is it? Explain it. He knows how to do it. It's delicious. He does it traditionally. He does with the egg and the cheese, but then he adds his own spin to it. He puts a sunny side egg on top, so you get the egg in the sauce, and then you get the sunny side egg on top mm. with the cheese and the pasta. It's just warm. And the pancetta, it's it's delicious. It certainly is delicious. And, you know, Milos is one of those places you guys are open for lunch and dinner. Right. I know you have, you know, Kendall Square has become a hotbed of mm -hmm. restaurants, but you guys have been there for a while. Is it cool that there's now so many restaurants in the area? Oh, yeah, we love it. We've tried several of them ourselves. It's great to have so many people in the area. You know, it's brought new customers to us, and it's just exciting to see so many people in the area.
area. It we is. love it. It's and great. there's so many great restaurants, but I'm telling you right now, you want to try a great one, go to Amelia's Trattoria. They're at 111 Harvard Street in Kendall Square, Cambridge, and on the web at ameliasTrattoria.com.